Elixir. The secret of the eternal path, a prize sought by the sovereigns of old. Among them was the first emperor of the Qin, who lusted for immortality. The result of his quest to obtain the forbidden medicine was a catastrophe. The elixir's power proved overwhelming. And in the years following the dynasty's demise, it continued to exert a shadowy influence on conflict and political machinations. Many moons pass, and the Han Empire faces its final days. In these dark times, Elixir once again threatens to become the catalyst that awakens the dragons lying dormant across our land. Thank you for saving me. I'm glad you've recovered from your injuries. I found you, bearer of the eternal elixir field. As long as we have you, victory is still possible. Consider that a talisman of protection. It may just save your life one day. I cannot allow this travesty to continue. Let us depart. sure it will prove useful. It's a medicine created from refined chi. With it, you can heal most wounds. I don't think we will be able to pass through this way. Perhaps if we can climb past that watchtower. <laughs> Impressive. I knew I was right in trusting you. <laughs> Underestimating an enemy with high morale is certain to end badly for you. <laughs> this was the village. 
village elders' residence. This is barbaric. So the yellow turbans won't even stay their swords for the elderly. Mostly peasants who suffered from political corruption and natural disasters. Yet, they have deteriorated into mere bandits that prey on others who are also weak. Whatever could change them to this extent, I wonder. In truth, I ended up in this village after fleeing from the brutalities of war. My father, who worked for the government, passed away. And I became separated from the rest of my family. I long for the day when I can find them, and we can be together once more. We've done well to get this far, but it's not over yet. Ah, yes. Once we rid this area of enemies, might we be able to stop by my house? There's something I wish to give you as thanks. I hope that everyone who escaped the brutality is going to safety now. I sense a great danger ahead. Do be careful. Dogs of the Han Court, are you? <laughs> Any who oppose us shall know only the end of our blades! Fought very well. Now the village is safe. By my head. Why are you? You shall die. He long. Every bit as strong as the rumors say. <laughs> this world is steeped in chaos. It needs one like you to bring peace to it. I cannot let you die. It's 
Zhao Yun! Uh, Run for your lives! <laughs> the, the corporal, he's been... Enough. You're badly wounded. <laughs> Back to camp, go. Forgive my rudeness earlier. A malicious soldier, are you? If so, would you? Kindly lend your courage to me. I lead the forces of General Gongsun. My name is Zhao Yun. The Yellow Turbans have control of Mount Dongshan. You don't look short of confidence, but surely it would be reassuring to have an ally at your side. Our scouts went to reconnoiter the enemy, but have not returned. I came to rescue them, but have no clues as to their whereabouts. And just look at them. They were so starved they couldn't possibly have fought back. The Yellow Turbans must be stopped, or our land will be ravaged beyond recognition. <laughs> we must take down their leader to gain control of the situation. Let us go together. My ally! Who's there? An ally? I thought everyone had escaped. We're done for here. We have asked for aid, but it doesn't appear any reinforcements are coming. I had hoped to retaliate against the Yellow Turbans, but it seems I've already met my... We shouldn't get in over our heads. Let's consider falling back. <laughs> we will have to make a stand here. This foe may pose us a challenge. Be sure to keep your guard up!
You fought well, my friend. That was a sight to behold. I cannot understand how one as strong as you could have gone unnoticed. Your force was like that of a dragon soaring heavenward. <sighs> My companion wore a smile as he departed this life, falling on the field of battle. I was unsure of what I ought to do to protect those dear to me. But you, a warrior as valiant as a dragon, have shown me the way. I, Zhao Yun, shall pierce through the darkness, enveloping our age. An army of a hundred thousand might stand in my way, but it would matter not. For like a majestic Chilin, I shall carve out a road to peace. Expected demons to be among them. This could become even more difficult. Nonetheless, we will not back down. The county office, fallen to ruin, now serves the yellow turbans as a base. It mirrors the state of our empire with uncanny accuracy. You are ready. <laughs> you scum! <laughs> this is our execution ground, didn't you know? <laughs> <laughs> the Tianju hermits will get no mercy. <laughs> that goes for the women as well. this victory, we move a step closer to peace. You saved me. <sighs> Thank you. You are lucky to be alive. However, I am not the one you should think. My name is Hongjin, and I've been investigating the Yellow Turbans. That jade is... <sighs> I must leave you now. I advise you to head to Guangzong, to the Yellow Turban's headquarters. It would be an immense boost to the Imperial forces if you were to join the ranks. Ah! Would you mind taking me along? Ah! <laughs> 
Won't you stop, Yida? Don't be so reckless, Yida. These brave warriors saved my life. Huh? What? Mm. <laughs> my apologies. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> okay. It's time to find out how strong you really are. How about we play a little game? Who can take out the most rebels? You or I. I am Leo Bey, leader of the militia of the Jewel Commandery, along with my two sworn brothers. They need help, so may I ask that you go in my stead. I will not be far behind. I was told that a great sage once lived here in secrecy. And apparently, the area became known as Guegugo Valley, or the Ogre's Domain, because of him. Doesn't exactly fill one with confidence, does it? What on earth are these guys? There's something about them different from the foes earlier. Who'd you think would win if I fought my second elder brother in a serious duel? A foolish question. It goes without saying that our brother would best us all, after all. Yeah, can't argue with that. This world cannot be saved with foolhardy bravery alone, which is precisely why we pledged our blades to our brother. Who would have thought they were friendly, and dare I even say, cute demons out there? Huh. However, I will not allow my beard to be nibbled. Let's hurry this up! Get that yellow turban leader eliminated! Something terrible lurks behind that waterfall. We will rise to not linger here. should swipe that out from your brain for a moment, Gita. is almost upon us. Please, my lord, order a retreat. Do not falter. 
For our mission is clear. To bring the world under the yellow heaven. <laughs> oh. Oh. Those foolish enough to stand before us shall know true regret for their folly. Just try to evade my sorcery. Away in the afterlife now. Brother, you know what to do. <laughs> hmm? Come on, let's get it done. <laughs> Dragon of Heaven, bear witness to our unshakable bond and unbreakable will. Corrupt officials, eh? That's good. I will do justice to them for what the law has not done. My dutiful blade has slain thousands of scoundrels. And yet there's no end to it. It's as if this war only claims the decent men, leaving nothing but scum. As true warriors, we are honor-bound to defend the innocent. I'll prove I'm no mere brawler. I want to see people smiling again, and I'll do what it takes so they can. With chivalry in our hearts, let our strength match that of the Chinlong itself. What a feeling! We've not done that since back at the Peach Orchard. Indeed. My soul has not been stirred like that for some time. Brother, you are unharmed. The Yellow Turban soldiers have left the area. Take the path behind the altar and go to Guansong. <laughs> we will follow and no doubt meet again. Assuming you don't get yourselves killed! Our oh, 10,000 men are pitted against 20,000. Have you a plan, Commander Chow? Part of our forces will serve as bait and distract the enemy. Utilizing the diversion, a separate force will target Zhang Jiao. Not bad, but how will we split their forces? Zhong Zhao is no fool. If he remains mm. guarded, mm -hmm. a secret route we discovered earlier. It's likely our best option. Hmm. <laughs> Excellent! What a wondrous turn of events, and I shall take this one with me. As you please. A tiger with prey in its sights won't be diverted after all. Come fight alongside me. And you might make a name for yourself.
We can get to the secret path from the cliff over there. Please, follow me. Oh, I hadn't considered that possibility. How did you find that out? <clears throat> the chi there is being distorted by something evil. Choosing the flow led me to what I believe to be the source. It could be the Yellow Turban's base. A distorted flow of chi, you say? That explains the rumors of there being demons in the enemy camp. So we've more than just hapless rebels to deal with, then. I shall relish the opportunity to wield my claws. Hey! Another day, another copper. If there's anything you need, let me know. This is someone you've met before? I'm a blacksmith. Name's Jusha. My aim's to become a master blacksmith, and so I travel the land, honing my craft. And what business does such a beauty have with a humble smithy like myself? <laughs> you certainly talk the talk of a good trader. Although this is a far from ideal place to do business, surely. If you want to where my allies are, you'd likely fare better. <laughs> Why, as it happens, I'd been thinking of settling down somewhere a little calmer. Thank you kindly for the offer. Once I'm finished up here, I'll make my way there. Troops here are the best they've got. These rebels genuinely believe the lies spewed by Song Chao and the like. And so I expect they'll fight to the last man. <laughs> and I have been ordered by the court to capture this fort. But with no reinforcements, we were having trouble thinking of a strategy. <laughs> I know someone who's been face to face with death when I see them. It's good to know I've got reliable company. There looks to have been especially fierce fighting here. This is their front line of defense. If we're not careful here, things could turn ugly. and that we've remained loyal to the Imperial Court while lamenting what it's become. In fact, his devotion may exceed even mine. His strategic noose and ability to bring out the best of his subordinates are next to none. It would be a terrifying prospect to have to face him as an opposing general.
I'll need to take care not to be overshadowed. The glory of this victory is all yours this time. <laughs> Who is this strange person? <laughs> What a foul aura. Oh, you. You do not fear this chi. You are wasted as a militia soldier. Swan Clan's strength rivals even that of a ferocious tiger. Our descendants are destined to establish their own dominance one day. But before that, we will have to deal with that malicious Chi, who will cut through the darkness that engulfs this world. Will it be I? Or perhaps it will be you, my worthy rival. <laughs> Commandant Chow must be told what happened here. I must make haste. <laughs> Chaos. Is it all his fault? I need to let the Master know, right away. Will you join me? The stars illuminating the night sky tell us all about our fates. The star of Zhang Zhao, the leader of the Yellow Turban Rebellion that upturned our world, was extinguished along with his life. But war is not so easy to quell, and the stench of death yet rises from the earth. The source of destruction stems from the greed of the very men who swore to protect the land. And so, our brave heroes must stand once more against injustice. Back at last, Hong Jing. Zhu Tzu was worried, you know? It's not every day we get a visitor. Uh, yes, I know. But there's no time to explain now, sorry. Master! Master! Demon showed up on the mountain. He went to find out what's going on. Thank you for letting me know. I'm very worried. But we need to prepare properly if we're going up the mountain. Ah, so you're the one who came with Hong Jing. Now that you're here, why don't you settle down for a while? Feel free to ask anyone around if there's anything you need to know. Mount Tianjushan awaits us on the other side. Ready? my master. We best head for the summit. Don't worry, I know the mountain like the back of my hand.
future opens. <sighs> Thank you for the help. The body's internal sources of energy from which chi flows are known as elixir fields. Depending on its application, chi can convert to either a genuine state or a demonic one. We hermits of Tianzhu, dwelling far from prying eyes in the mountains, harness genuine chi to wield wizardly spells. We have tracked the course of man's destiny for countless ages. Yet we have now entered a time of ceaseless war that has flooded the land with demonic chi and even allowed vile demons to roam unchecked. Fate intended for us to meet here. So I ask you, will you help me hunt down those responsible for this plague of demonic chi? Your chi is what will restore light to this age of darkness. Even by Zeus taking a liking to you, it seems. I never imagined I'd see this mountain overrun with demons. It goes to show that the demonic chi is still rife. Master! You shouldn't overexert yourself. Hearing you say that... <laughs> really makes me wish I was young again. Ah, I take it you have new information? <laughs> Let's return post-haste. I see. That explains why the yellow turbans had been infused with demonic chi. <sighs> this reminds me of something. I'm sure I had it somewhere around... <clears throat> ah, here. Here we are. Elixir is formed of chi, and to create a genuine brew, an immense quantity is needed. A quantity near impossible to gather without a huge loss of life, such as that which is caused by war or disaster. Gathering it also requires a vessel, an elixir field housed within a human. But not just any. Only the elixir field of a descendant of a lineage blessed by dragons may prove sufficient. I think we can reasonably conclude that the genuine elixir is connected to the current disturbances. Master, have you any idea who the Taos to top the dragon was? <laughs> There are more than a few Taoists who wouldn't flinch at such foul things. But to find out who it is, we may simply need to track down the source of demonic chi. <sighs> then our next destination is... The capital. There is a high official in Luoyang, regarding whom there are countless unsettling rumors. <laughs> Let's set off. You must be careful. And keep an eye on Hongjin. <laughs> she has a reckless side. Perhaps it runs in the family. Oh. Huh? Huh. <laughs> 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 
Uh, Chief Unit Zong does not meet those who come without appointments. On your way with you! Uh, come with me. You're late, Amon. And who are they? You will enjoy this. They are the ones who took down Zhang Jiao. And I came upon them by chance. Who would not be tempted to bring them along. Is that so? I'm Yun Chao, Colonel of the Central Army. I've known Chao Chao since he was a stripling. Hmm. Even the counselors of state can now approach Jiang Yang now. And yet, that doesn't mean nothing can be done. As I expected. So this well is a secret passage. Very well. I will lead the way. However, if this passage is blocked, there's no way back. We should leave a lookout here. I will be on watch. As you slew Zhang Zhao, I expect you saw the strange elixir he was using. That is what Amon and I are searching for, as we believe it to be the chief cause of the chaos that plagues the state. It is like a maze down here. Let us split into two groups. You needn't worry for me. We will reunite later on. It is Let us... You needn't worry. I would hazard that Zhang Rong built this dungeon on his own purse. There's no other way he could have kept the trusted servant. <laughs> <laughs> It's not the time to prove yourself. Stand back. Surely you do not intend to perish here. These corpses are fresh. Keep your eyes sharp. The way appears narrow. I can see the prison further in. Uh. 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 
Kana. Thank you for saving my life. I am Jen of Zhongshan <clears throat> Commandery. <gasps> it is devoted to my protection. Please forgive its impoliteness. Hmm. Eunuch Zhang has been rounding up innocent people and stealing their life energy underground here. If this white snake had not guarded me, I too would be. Hmm. May I ask who you are? Colonel Yuan? The one who is favored so by the stars? What fate that we should meet here? Indeed. I am Yuan Shao. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, this is what the stars foretell then. <gasps> Ben Shu, I shall leave the young lady in your hands. We can't take her with us. Well... Don't let your guard down out there. <sighs> it's in complete ruins. I dread to think what lurks here. Stay alert. <laughs> drawing water from the dungeon. It is not clear what he's up to with such strange behavior. <laughs> has lingered long after the collapse of the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Now even regional lords have started scheming in detriment to peace in the land. We must temper these wild flanks before another like Jiang Jiao emerges. <laughs> much to attend to. Who dares to disturb me? Greetings. It was Eunuch Zhang who spread the dubious elixir across the land, was it not? It seems you cannot talk your way out of conviction this time. So you have already thrown away your humanity. Have you no respect for your superiors, Zhao Zhao? To sneak into my manor and disturb my work. <clears throat> In return for your discourtesy, I shall just have to make do with your team. This courtesy requires punishment.
Yes, I'll give you half of all of it. <clears throat> ah! With all this, I can finally forge an empire to last a thousand years. <clears throat> will bring forth a new wave of chaos on the land. If this is what has been destined, so be it. I shall just have to fight tooth and nail until the flames of chaos are quelled. status as a mere advisor to hold me back any longer. The House of Han is on its knees. It no longer has the power to unite the nation. That is why... I, Xiao Chao, shall bring down the evils of old and bring peace and prosperity to the land. What is needed now is a tactical mind unimpeded by morality. If you wish for an ally to walk beside you through the ravages of war, simply call upon this unscrupulous hero. For like Chu Chue, we shall soar through the sky engulfed in righteous fire! upon us. I must leave the capital and begin preparations. Mengdu, we are always at your service. Looks like it's finally time for our men to get to work. Elixir's whereabouts was taken by Zhang Rong with him to his grave. Elsewhere, Dong Zhou, a man whose ambition outweighs his conscience, brought the capital to its knees by force. Both Yuan Shao and Cao Cao suspected him to be connected to the Elixir and forged a plan to bring him down. These two great eminences lit the way and drew many together. They amassed a colossal force comprised of 18 separate armies to stand against Dong Zhuo. Time to 
showed the tenacious courage of the Swens. Ben Shu, victory is within our grasp. Men, the time has come to make Dong Zhuo pay for his tyranny! All units attack! Yeah! Hmm? I remember your face. Uh huh? Hmm? May glory find you once more on the battlefield today. Our foes are strong as well. Hmm. 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 You said your name was Hong Jin? Can I ask you to attend to the wounded? <laughs> you propose I flee? To Mei Wu Fort with the elixir? My lord. I, Lu Bu, will hold the enemy back and buy you the time you need. You do that, Lu Bu. The number of injured is overwhelming. I hear Sun Jian is putting up resistance ahead, so if you get to him, you should be able to assist. Leave it to me to treat the people here. Who could have taken the elixir from Zhang Rong? We need to go to Luoyang again and investigate. The capital fell into chaos after your departure. Dong Zhuo, governor of Bing province, came and took the court by force. I cannot say for certain how or why Dong Zhuo suddenly gained such momentum. To get to Luoyang, one must go through the Hu Lao Guan Pass here. Dong Zhuo's men will be ready to fight tooth and nail to defend this point. Dong Zhuo, you will be wise to... Reinforcements? We're saved. For the time being, let us fall back to the rear. What blood to be... Fall back. I have never seen or heard the like of such a warrior. None save Lu Bu would stand a chance. Your assistance is most welcome. I'm afraid to report that my son, Sun Tse, has rushed ahead and got stuck behind enemy lines. I would plow through all of them myself and retrieve him. But there are simply too many of them. However, I believe you would be capable of it. What say you? Can you find my son and bring him back? Drag him if you must. I'm quite able to handle myself out here, but Bofu is in grave danger. So please. Sorry for all this. I'm going to have to take this brat back to our camp. You'll be able to take care of things here, I trust? Open the garrison gates with the mechanism up ahead, and our forces will be able to advance through the pass. The enemy general will stand in your way. You could be in for a tough fight. Be on your guard. Open the garrison gate and our... The enemy general...
<laughs> All elixir has been sent to Meiwu Fort. Drawn to Meiwu Fort. Our capital of 200 years. My men and I are going after Dong Zhou, even if it's only us. You'll have to count me out on this one. Something urgent has come up. Wait a moment! Some of us must stay and help the people! Please, allow Jen to ask the same, my lord. The only one who can set this situation right. Is you, my warrior. I can't believe this. This place was the picture of prosperity when I last came. The elixir Zhang Rong had. Did it end up being used for this? We may encounter the Taoist that was riding the dragon. We'll need to be really careful. We may encounter the Taoist that was riding. We'll need to be really careful. <laughs> Guan Pass also saw me rescued by an warrior named Zhao Yun. It truly is mysterious how fates become intertwined. I should like to see him again, and hopefully we can fight together with him once more. These demons attacking us. Could they have been the same folk? For this to have been their fate. We must bring an end to these dark times without delay. Sweden was deeply saddened by what happened here. However, urgent news arrived from Shangyang, and he set off alongside young master. General Sweden was deeply saddened by what happened here. However, urgent news arrived from Shangyang, and he set off alongside young master. Oh! <laughs> 
through the power of a dragon's elixir field. was simply no match for you. Thank you very much. Lord Yuan Shao is sure to be pleased as well. burn bright when a hero steps forward to quell the world's chaos. As one whose only strength is in contemplating the charts of the sky, all that I can do is offer you my interpretations of the stars, bestowing you some insight of what will come. Place me by your side that I may ensure you do not stray from the path the stars have illuminated for you. I pray that the stars will offer you their clear guidance in this dark time. Thanks to you, the capital is safe. Now, let us get back to the others. The Coalition has split right in half. It has become meaningless. In the end, people will prioritize their own desires. Friendship and the like are not to be trusted in. <gasps> what a pitiful sight. Now it's the south. A veil of demonic chi has descended upon Xiangyang. 
But the elixir remains a pressing concern. Hong Jing and I will take care of Dong Zhou, leaving you to head to Xiang Yang if you're willing. <laughs> da Chao! Your dear stepfather. He does so love his daughter, does he not? <laughs> <laughs> oh. General Soon is heading into the capital. Uh, what is the meaning of this? Perhaps something has happened. I did see Father talking to a strange Taoist in the capital. Damn it, Father. He's hiding something. We must hurry after him. <clears throat> oh. Yes, brother. You're the one who was at Hulao Guan Pass. I've heard tales of you. I am Swen Chuan, the younger son of Swen Jian. Listen, something troubling is afoot. <sighs> this is an ill omen. Could father have come to harm? <clears throat> Don't talk nonsense! A tiger is not so simply hunted. Right? Father? I don't know what on earth he was thinking. Dad's gone into enemy territory alone. We need to get after him right now. No time for talk. Please excuse the sudden request, but this is urgent. Would you lend us your aid? is a master of all terrain. And thus, we Swen should one day be able to use the rivers to our advantage too. This one will not go down so easily. That's one huge demon. Stand your toes! the Hanchui River. I'd like to be lord of a huge stronghold like this one day. First, we rescue father and rid the area of demons. Then, with our combined strength, we will take this city and make it our new stronghold in Jing Province. I like the sound of that. We better get this finished up properly then. Sunshine, care to join me now? Tempt me all you may. I will not join forces with evil. Let Da Chao go! <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
Chow! What's going on here? General Sun! General Sun, he's... <sighs> Father... Is that you? who disobey me. <laughs> Take heed for when the time comes for you to answer. You bastard! <laughs> Get back here! Curses! <laughs> Father restrained us from completely losing ourselves to bloodlust. And then, in sacrificing his life, he set an example for all Swen descendants to follow. Our bloodline is not to give succor to the evildoers. We are to strengthen ourselves, and one day, bring order to this land. Your claws are not those of the tiger like ours. However, we want you present as we set off. And sail towards a bright future, as kings overseeing an era of prosperity for all. With our ship's helm adorned by that liar Taoist severed head. has been elsewhere. You have surpassed me. Both of you. Grow strong and take care of your men. As commanders, you must be calm and collected. And Bofu, you are just like me. Always reckless. <laughs> <laughs> that man, he must be stopped. Dad! Father! <laughs> 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 It's Hong Jin. She's infiltrated Dong Xiu's forces alone. Would you go with me to Mei Wu Fort?
wonderful display. Tell me your name. Huh. Diao Chan. <clears throat> <laughs> I came here with Hong Jing as we continued our search for Elixir. I don't know what her plan was, but she has entered the fort alone. I would like you to sneak in, find her, and bring her back. The gate is heavily guarded, but luckily there's another way. Using genuine chi, you can make ivy grow rapidly, and thus you'll have yourself a ladder. <laughs> I shall secure another route, so please do all you can to find Hong Jing. up my entertainment. In that case, I shall just have to improvise. With your dying screams! Your screams will be music to my ears! Let's begin the performance. It has played on my mind ever since I saw you at Hulaguan Pass. But how could I forget how bravely you always held yourself? So, brother, why? Why do you stand with Dong Zhuo? You mistake me for another. Uh, hmm? Lu Bu! Uh, An assassin! Your tongue was perfect timing. You shall make a fine soldier. How dare you? You would betray me? Very well. The elixir is yours. Lubu.
go before things get out of hand. Brother! Don't worry about me. Chong Liao, take her away. Time to leave. Please, wait! <sighs> What will he do with the elixir? I simply follow General Liu's orders. Please, this way. <sighs> Thank you. You saved me yet again. I had to make sure. But at last I'm convinced. <sighs> he was the person I always wanted to be like. To catch up to. And then he left without a farewell. I need to know why he set his sights on the elixir. Otherwise, I'll never be able to get things back to normal. Seeing you fearlessly face up to the demonic tea has given me determination. It may take force to get the truth out of him. But there's no one he would tell other than me. Never give up. For when it comes to being stubborn, even my brother cannot best me. <clears throat> to think he survived. I... I hope the day will come when we can train together once more. And so... Yet another star falls over Mei Wu Fort. After defeating Dong Zhuo, Lu Bu took the elixir and turned his back to the fort. The elixir was now in the hands of the strongest warrior in the entire land. Cao Cao, fearing what Lu Bu might be capable of, deployed his forces to bring him down. However, he lost Pu Yang to his adversary and found himself on the back foot as Li Wu's forces struck back. Make way! We must retake Pu Yang! <laughs> <laughs> Fighting well, but stay sharp! You are young! You live up to your name, Liu Bu. Is this all the great Cao Cao can muster? Wenron, hold back for now. <clears throat> I am Jun Yu, General Cao's advisor. Initially, Colonel Shaho was tasked with defending Puyang City. However, it was assaulted by Lu Bu while he was away, and it was taken. Now he has returned and making considerable efforts to recapture the city. I only pray that the elixir supposedly held by Lubu's army does not invite foreseen circumstances. 
Please catch up to him and provide some support if possible. I shall join with General Cao once the troops are ready. May you fight well. Please catch up. I shall. May you fight. Please catch up. To I shall. May you fight. I don't mind having you with us, as long as you pull your weight. <laughs> Looks like the sluice is bound with thick rope. Let's get closer and have a look. <laughs> Lu Bu managed to slip away. Huh. Fled with his tail between his legs. Huh? Are you a Shao soldier? Huh? <laughs> 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 The Shao Duan I know is not the sort of man to give up so easily. to give our blades in support. It's up to us, the Shaho clan, to guide Longda on the path to victory. My arrow will pierce any who dare to raise their blade to him. He's like a brother to us. But your genuine chi is formidable. You knocked sense into me when I was in my demonic rage. So maybe you'll not be needing my bow, huh? It's no mystery why boss rates you so highly. We'd follow you into death's abyss without hesitation. We'll ensure he commands over all of the land. You just watch. Yeah. <sighs> 
You were young. Looks like I owe you one. <laughs> Glad to have you back. I couldn't die before seeing you end the chaos across the land. <laughs> the flag of the Lubu army has been raised at Xiaopei City Tower. Hmm. That Lubu. Ever impatient to bite at his next prey. <laughs> I've heard that Xiao Pei was stripped from you in Xuanta's absence. Uh, it was... It was the booze! Otherwise, they would have never... Did I not warn you enough times? <laughs> it's my fault! I will redeem myself by offering up this lie! You clumsy fool! <laughs> Hmm. Yida, do not be so ready to throw your life away. Remember the oath we took. Brother. If you were to die, I too would follow you in death. Then I, Zhang Fei! We'll take back Zhao Pei single-handedly! I won't fail you again! Yida, just calm down for a moment. I shall accompany you. And I too. Your mistakes are our mistakes, brother. <laughs> Brothers, let's shake the ground beneath their feet! <laughs> Will you lend us your hand as well? I am thankful to have an ally with such compassion and honor as yourself. After all that happened, we at last find ourselves in Shu province. Since I have promised the people, I am responsible for it and cannot abandon it. I hope I can reclaim the territory without Minister Cao's help. We'll do it! Our brotherhood will see us to victory! Now <laughs> pays ours! But safe to say Cao Cao is taking a liking to you, brother. Otherwise, there's no way he'd come out this way, leading his forces himself. Enough, Hida. As things stand, we are once more wanderers with no domain. How do you think we could fight against Lu Bu without Minister Cao kindly allying with us? <laughs> Modesty knows no bounds, does it? Surely it wouldn't hurt to say it as it is. Though, I suppose this is part of why you're bound to end up our era's greatest hero. My ancestor, Kenneth, is interred here in the Gautsu Mausoleum. He started from scratch, but pushed ahead no matter how many battles he lost. And by triumphing over his rival Xiang Yu, the Hegemon King, he succeeded in founding the Han Empire at last. You seem surprised! <laughs> Did you really think my brother was some riffraff upstart? Nope! His lineage is as legitimate as can be! Wife and child were captured when the castle got taken. Yet Lu Bu's forces, usually known for their cruelty, let them go free. Why they would do that is beyond me. <sighs> Indeed, I share your suspicion. But even so, my overriding emotion is joy at having my family safe. A warrior. Risks his life for his duty. I will not step down.
For what purpose do you wager your life? <sighs> Give me your answer with your blade. Defeat. Very well. I will not beg for my life. Kill me! There he is! Defeat the enemy general, John Liao! Why are you... I have roamed this land with Bishia, honing my blade in search of what makes a warrior. Now, I think I have finally come upon an answer. We may lose our lives in battle, but we shall never lose our spirit. A warrior fights for something that they can't bear to lose. I looked up to General Liu. He was a true warrior among warriors. If my life were to end today, I'd leave no regrets. Except maybe wishing that I had known another warrior of such high caliber was in our midst. Sheathe your weapons. You would not stand in my way, if not for a good reason. Killing you will be regrettable. How about you? Surrender and serve the Imperial Court. Have mercy on my men. And then I will pledge allegiance with no objection. Lu Bu is making a final stand at Shapi. You had best come with us. Wait. My brother is. I am a man of honor, so I can't tell you everything now. Attack! Send Shapi into the depths. Yes, my lord. It would appear, Minister Chao, that you have many talented men serving you. However, why does Lubu not use the elixir? Chi here is even denser than it was at Puyong and Xiaopei. Could this be the sign of something bad on the way? <laughs> we must defeat Lu Bu here and stop the chaos. Although we cannot avoid hurting some innocent citizens, I decided to go ahead with our plan to devastate the city by flooding it. The stalemate here has given demons the opportunity to invade the city. This means Lubu may have no choice but to turn to his prized elixir. <laughs> well, we'll be relying on your abilities. 
Everything's completely destroyed. The water has slowed down now, but we'll still need to find a path that's not waterlogged. The whole town's totally flooded. I wonder if it's this bad where my brother is. <sighs> Blast! The entire city has been flooded. Are there are no lengths that Ker Chow Chow will not stoop to. The village my brother and I grew up in was caught in the crossfire of the war too. The house was destroyed, our parents killed, and I could do nothing except cry. But he kept pushing me to keep hope. We all supported each other and just about managed to stay alive. Then my master found us and took us to Mount Kandrusha. took me completely by surprise. Are you all right? Just how weak had that floor gotten before we can clean it? My brother's habit, when something troubled him, was to turn back. It's not good for him child. So, I don't understand why. What led him down this path? I can't deny what he's done. Killing his master, taking the elixir, stirring up conflict. But that's not the Lubu I knew. I need to find out what happened, what changed him. My brother was extremely serious And all because he wanted to protect me. You are my responsibility, Holmes. Is what he'd always say. And it was true. He always looked after me. This time, though, it's I that must become the protector. It's unavoidable that Cao Cao's forces will try to kill him. But if I can get him to stand down, then... Will you lend me your aid? I have no one else to rely on. You stand against impossible hardship. So then why? Why not use the elixir? I... I was waiting. For this moment! <laughs> the blight of the elixir. It all ends here. And now. I knew immediately that I had to destroy Yuji after finding out this chaos was his doing. A Taoist spreading a vile elixir and controlling demons has no right to tread this land. I could not allow the people of my village, who made me who I am, or my one and only flesh and blood, to get caught up in this madness. That is why I left my village and pledged a false allegiance to Dong Zhuo, 
to infiltrate their forces. I hope to track Yuji's actions. I swallowed my pride and did their bidding. I brought the elixir to Meiwu Fort and was able to prevent it from spreading among the lords. Yet, I was still unable to pin down Yuji. So, in my desperation, I risked everything. I stole the elixir. I figured if I sat on it without using it myself, he would eventually show his face. And it worked. But... I came one step short. You bested me. Perhaps you can take Yuji down. The responsibility of bringing an end to the spread of demonic chi is in your hands now. fought a long, hard, and lonely fight. province, but many of our other cities have fallen to Yuan Shao as well. And I don't know where my brothers are. General Guan, hmm? if you have no objections, how about staying with Minister Cao for the time being? It will not be easy for you to search for General Liu until these enemy forces are defeated. Hmm. I could see General Yuan's star falling. And three new stars have risen up. What might this portend? Yuan Shao suddenly heads south towards Cao Cao's territory and steals the elixir that Lu Bu had been safeguarding. Yuan Shao now commanded an army of demons, striking fear into the hearts of many, and allowing him to secure footholds across the land. With tiredness and fear spreading among his men, Cao Cao faced crushing odds, but his star burned yet brightly. He roused his loyal army and went out on an all-or-nothing attack. Forces have taken the Yanjin fort. 
Our vanguard heading for Baima has been taken out by the enemy generals Yan Liang and Wen Chou. You have treated me with such kindness. Allow me to return the favor, Minister Cao. I shall bring you the enemy commander's head. How many men will you need? I will need... just one. Hmm. <laughs> Yuan Xiao's forces are strong. Be careful. So, milady, what did the stars tell you now? We shall only know when this battle is through, my lord. There's one primary strategic point on the river crossing here in Baima. The one who takes it can prevent enemy reinforcements. Exactly. Tao Tao will do everything in his power to cover his losses. However, our goals are different. We must find the towers who killed our father. Cao <laughs> Cao's army has reached Baima. I want Shao Aman's head now. Yes, my lord. We will do whatever it takes. <laughs> do you hear me? Let none say we lack forces anymore! <laughs> Without my sworn brothers by my side now, it is but you I can entrust my life with. Let us depart. The fear in General Yuan's heart led him to become consumed by darkness. The retainers that once served him have left. Now all that lingers at his side are those twisted demons and conjurers. The stars remain uncertain of how the future will unfold. But I believe you have the power to guide us down the right path. The fear in General you and the, the stars... If we lay down our swords here, there will be no one else who can put a stop to Yuan Shao. We ask much of our allies, for this is not a task we can accomplish unscathed. There's no doubt that Yuan Shao has turned to using the elixir. He could not have gained such power by any other means. Though, I believe you do indeed have what it takes to stand against this evil. If my brother were to die, there would be nothing left for me but to follow him into the abyss too. But I can sense it in my heart. Brother still lives. Yida too. I know I shall be reunited with them once more. Magnificent. <laughs> now we've taken Bai Ma back. Yun Chang. It's spring. A fine season to set out on a journey. <laughs> In Yanjin. Some are saying that Qin Long descended from heaven. And that he has been imprisoned by a human. 
Can it be that my brother is there? Why not visit this rumored location and find out what is going on? You brought the horse that was tethered in the stable! Red hair! It's alive! It can travel a thousand miles a day, but it is said that it chooses its master. Nothing to worry about. I should have expected nothing less. Just a small gift. You may set out on your journey now, Yun Chang. Without fail, I, Gwen Yu, shall repay this favor someday. <clears throat> I hear Yan Jin Fort is already a den of demons. Will you lend Yun Chang your aid? Hmm. By the Azure Dragon Crescent Glaive, I swear it! What can I say? I believe you then. Every corner of Yanjin has become a lair for these demons. Not a sign of brother either. Is it possible he formed an alliance with Yuan Shao? What a pitiful <laughs> sight. Where are your precious sworn brothers now? Where are your allies? You understand, surely. Bonds are as useful as they are ephemeral. And yet, I still choose to believe in the strength of my brothers. <laughs> Brother! <sighs> you and Shao! Don't you touch him, you cur! <clears throat> you are all bound together in life. And so too you will be in death! <clears throat> So, either forget about me, run! <sighs>
Brother! Brother! Come to your senses! My heart was true, yet I lacked the strength to carry out what needed to be done. We who were born apart shall die together. That was my oath to Yunchong and Yida, and so we made our first step out into the world. I have fought hard and lost so very much, nearly even my life. But even in my darkest moments of despair, there was one thing I never lost, the belief in my brothers. You showed me my beliefs were not misplaced. And so, with even stronger bonds to support me, I shall continue to strive forward. Spot for it. Sounds good to me, but our battle is far from over. <clears throat> Yuan Shao would have all the land fall under the thrall of his demonized army. There was an unearthly sky <clears throat> reaching over Guan Du. Are you saying that's Yuan Shao's <clears throat> doing? It is only by your hands now that this tyrannical rampage can be halted. <clears throat> Return to Minister Cao. We must do everything in our power to stymie the ambitions of Yuan Shao. Hmm. Zhong Mo, our aim is set. We ride into Guantu Fort to take his head. Oh. So then, that's your answer. You... I need only one who bears the blood of the Sun lineage. Those who disobey me shall receive a similar fate. Brother! Elder brother! Join me. Or follow your father and brother into hell. Now, what will you do, Sun Shuan? Indeed. I command you all! Defeat Yuan Shou! And end this war! I am on. The time to avenge General Wu is at hand. Let's kill Yuan Shou and fulfill the warrior's last wish together.
<laughs> you truly believe to have me cornered? How mistaken you are. The power to control this world lies in none other than... This resplendent crimson glow! <laughs> My father was highly respected for his official rank. I too held him in great regard. Yet he willingly set me off as an adopted son, severing the bond between father and son. After spending time with Amon, my trust in the bond between people was somewhat restored. However, when those who I considered friends left me as I stood before my capital in flames, my fragile notions of those bonds were shattered. All that I could cling to was the power I drew from the Crimson Glow. In the end, even that was not sufficient to lead me to victory. I can scarcely believe that a true bond holds so strong and shines so brightly as this. I suppose I ought to thank you. You're late, Aman. Finish your conquest without delay, and prove that bonds truly do have value. Ben Chu, in death you will be a star. So watch over me to the very last. <sighs> Gather up. All of the elixir here. I'm leaving the rest to you. Dragon, I recognize its howl. Yuji will doubtless be there as well. We'll finish what my brother set out to do. But we'll be up against Yuji and that dragon. This will be a fight unlike any we've had. Let's make sure we are fully prepared for this. <sighs> to have made it this far. I dare say, the fates favor you greatly. How about it? 
Help me forge the ultimate elixir and join me in immortality. We'll put an end to your evil scheme! Hong Jian! Lend me your aid! <laughs> Immobilize the dragon! <laughs> <laughs> Use my offer. So be it. Then become a sacrifice on my path! over. At last, my brother can rest in peace. Hmm. Well, we will leave the rest to you and head back. I'll make sure to come and see how you're doing. Elixir to merge with Zhe Long. And the strength of our pact returned me to human form. <laughs> hmm. 
that had an unexpected effect. The dragon's elixir field is now inside my body. I am grateful to you. And as a reward... field become known. And so, I sealed off my eyes and the terrible power within them. Yuji drained my body's energy in his effort to create an ultimate elixir. However, I resisted and prevented his dark power from controlling me totally. It was my belief in you that allowed me to do this. Seeing you bravely fight on, Never losing faith in your allies for a moment has given me the courage to now open my eyes. Renew our oath. Nah. <clears throat> to do all in our power. As brothers, sharing one heart, caring for each other, and aiding those in need. We will support the Han court and bring peace to the commoners. <clears throat> Aim north! Fire! I see our men are well trained, Gong Jing. My lord, I assure you, the enemy shall rest upon the riverbed. On to the next target! Father. Brother, bear witness upon me for the future of the Swen Clan. Finally, we're going to the south. It seems peace is not that far. That said, the recently appointed Summa Yi seems to be highly regarded. A forbidden power.
You're leaving? <laughs> There's demonic chi that needs quelling. Will you be coming? I will stay here. With these eyes that discern fate, I must forge the next era.